All right, Lewis, we have a couple of very, very compelling pictures from my Instagram feed over the last week. Of course, I'm on Instagram at David Pacman. Things are getting pretty crazy on my Instagram feed. I know you're you're you've attested to this. Uh, have I? I uh, yes. Yes, sure. that's right. Absolutely. Uh, yeah. Uh, breakfast pictures seem to do really well. And the other day I actually, I, I don't often do this, but I took a picture of my breakfast, which I will show you here. Um, and it's, I, it's not that often that I just have a good old fashioned breakfast. Did you, you make know? that? No, no, no. This right. was at uh, a place called the Paramount in right. Boston, which I okay. highly, highly recommend. Um, are you, you still into breakfast these days? Like, you know, pancakes or home fries and eggs, like the traditional American breakfast. I don't like getting up and going out for breakfast. Yeah. Uh, I just, uh, but uh, I love the food, the breakfast food. I love it. There's some great brunch places right across the street from me. Sure. And it's great. I love pancakes and French toast and uh, all that stuff that's terrible for you. You into that world, Jason, as far as like, you know, the, the stereotypical big American breakfast? I'd say my favorite breakfast ever is a breakfast frittata, like, you know, quiche without the crust. That's right. my, you know, my go-to, but I don't know. I'm not so much a pancakes and waffles guy. I'm more of a eggs and potatoes kind of guy. Blood sausage, anybody? Uh, no. Nah. Nah. Yeah. Nah, no. I don't eat pork anymore, but when I was a little kid, I used to love blood sausage till I figured out what it was. Mm. And then uh, I loved it a little bit less. And then, you know. Phased now, it out. Now I just phased it out, yeah. Also, this is the most popular picture on my Instagram feed over the last week. If you're looking at this, and if you're not, you can pull up my account on Instagram uh, at david.pacman. I went to a place in Salem, Massachusetts, infamous for the Salem witch trials, of course. There is a place called Bitbar, which has a whole bunch of console arcade games. And I played what was growing up one of my favorite arcade games, not console arcade games. The big, what am I talking about here? Arcade games. Arcade games, yeah, yeah. not a console, right. Uh, and played NBA Jam. And I loved this game when I was a kid. It was just the best. You know, you had the codes to get the players with the huge heads. Yep. And uh, just such a, such a fun game. I really love that one. And people, for whatever reason, people seem to think it's hilarious when I am playing video games. I don't know why. I've said every once in a while I will play a video game. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, Dave plays games now and then. And uh, he likes the old school games. Who doesn't? Yeah. Uh, NBA Jam was, yeah. When we were kids, oh man, classic. The whole, the term... He's on fire and that he's came from that. up. Yeah. It's from NBA Jam. I also played Mortal Kombat 2, Disaster, lost in the first round. And what what's the shooting game? Uh, Virtua Cop. Virtua Cop, which it has like these polygon-like graphics that are so dated, but the gameplay still ho holds up, I have to tell you. That is my favorite arcade shooter of all time, Virtua Cop 1 and 2. So remember that you can follow me on Instagram at david.pacman. A, a lot of those pictures are only on Instagram. They're not on our Twitter page. They're not on our Facebook page, etc. And remember, there's still a membership discount code that I posted to my Instagram account. It's about eight posts back. And uh, it's a discount code if you want to sign up for membership.